Hi guys, today's video, I'm going to change strimmer line on Askvana strimmers, especially with these heads, well with one of these heads, T25, T35, T45, just normal Askvana head, and I really rate these, I really like them, i got to be honest, I've used lots of them over the years, different types, different styles, you've got a T25 which is smaller, for the, like more of a Omona style, T35, which this is with an M10 thread, they also do the M12 thread as well for the bigger machine. I got the same head, a T35, on my um, uh, 5, no, 3, 3.5, anything like that, 35cc. So the same style with a bigger thread, but also they do a 45, a T45, which I got here. This is a T45X. That's a bigger one. That's, I put 2.4 mil on that one, and I put uh, 3 mil on this one. Could go a bit more, but 3 mil is good for the bigger one. If you buy the X series, that's just a normal T35. It haven't got no no, uh, no bearing in, in the blue part here, the bump, uh, bump part. On the X, if you buy an X one, this is bearing. The center will spin. See the white band around them? That's what shows the difference. If they got a white band, they're the X series with the bearings, and so that that it, fin, it, it spins freely. If you're touching the ground, that's spinning very freely around it. With this type, if that touches the ground, it's, it's just spinning with the ground. This is this is spinning in the ground as well. So that that's going to wear out faster than that one because that'll stop. That'll just stop still, and the head will spin around it. I really like the X ones. I got a, a number of these on different machines and spares. Always carry with me, and uh, we go through it now. First thing to do, lights not best, yeah. Is look at the way you, you could this this style will go on on any machines. So you can you can take this idea. You put in strimmer line and anything. There's an arrow by you. Lights not very good. I get a light now. Yes, Varna with this style head, strimmer head, and this is a quick video how to change the, the strimmer line. I use 2.4 on any machine under 35cc because it, it takes a lot of stress on the engine just trying to run, well I used to run 3mm on little machines and it just is it's not as easy. You imagine it can run a faster, just the wind, just pushing that through the wind at 3mm takes a bit of power out the cc's. So I always stay on 2 point, that's my rule, 2.4, anything lower than 35. 35 up, I go 3 mil then, and that's worked great for me. Anyway, so I'll just show you, this This will pretty much work on any strimmer, uh, Ed, this idea. Whichever way you're spinning, this spins that way. If I'm looking on the top, anti-clockwise. So I put a bit of chalk on there. Just to show you how to load it up if you, if you don't see no arrows. I'm just showing you the way to, to remember. So that's going clockwise. If you ever pull in strimmer line on, you go opposite to the way it's spinning. Otherwise, if you, you've got to wind the cord opposite to the way it's going. So as it bumps on the ground, it wants to come out. If, this, if the mechanism broke, it all just blew out, it all just come out. If it's the other way around, if you wind in the wrong way, if you're a strimmer and you hit the bump on the ground and all the cord is gone, it's gone inside, you've wound the cord the wrong way. That's a, a well-known fact, that if you bump on the ground and the cord's gone, where's it gone? It's gone inside. You've wound it the wrong way. It naturally, when you bump it on the ground, it wants to come out. The force of it spinning is shooting it out. So if this bump don't go continuous, it all come out, right? So that's the first thing to learn, is which way you're going to wind it. A lot of them have got directional on the inside now, I'll show you. Take these off, can you see it all right? It's simple to take off, really, really good. I'm going to get, maybe get an Echo or Shindawa well, Shindawa own Echo now. We'll go the other way around, Echo own Shindawa now. But 
but they do good speed feeds. Anyway, until then, I'm going to use these. I like these. So press these two plungers on the side, one there, pull it forward a bit, turn it if you want to do it that way, press this one, just lean it for, just pull it forward, leave the blue bit in the middle, alright, and they will come off, it's still attached, leaves all this there then, so that's, you can leave the machine alone, put the machine out the way, there we are, that's just against, you know what I mean, at the job. Right, so here we have it like that. So just push it out, pop it out of there. How much is in here? Oh look, I'm nearly out. There's not much in there anyway. Just pop it out. It does say wine cord on here anyway. So that would be exactly what I said. That goes that way. So from the back, it's spinning that way. I'm just showing you which way it's spinning. So that's the way it's spinning. Oh, this is rubbish crayon. If it was way. Tire marker it is. That's terrible. Worst, worst arrow I've ever done. It spins that way, so you wind the cord the other way. That's pretty much all you gotta do. If you didn't have that on there, I know that I'm spinning that way, so you wind it the other way. Right? Bring it all apart, take it all off. Most of it'll all be gone, so you won't have this problem. I'm just showing you. The other way to show if there was no writing on there, which way is which, is look at the angle of the the bit that you hook it on, you could knock it on the wrong way because it'd fall off. If you started winding, if you started winding this way, it wouldn't be, a, it wouldn't hold in there because of the angle of it. See how it pull off? So I was saying to me, easy, that it, you wind that way. Alright? So I got about four meters here, you think that would never go on there. Eh? We'll see now. Yeah, so about four meters here. What I do, usually I run on three meters. I'm just showing you how much you can get on there. Be surprised. Only on the 2.4, mind. Go halfway, get the two ends together, put the two ends together, pull them through. Just in your hand like that, pull it through. Alright? And then you get to the halfway. This by here now. Is halfway. Pop it on there, onto the centre, just wind. Try to keep it as neat as you can, just wind on. If you get lumps, try to even it out, spread it around a bit, just wind on it. Neater the better, because you get more on it. So just wind on. You see, I've got a fair bit on it already. This is four meters worth for you. I used to do three, but four to fly on there, I'm sure of it. If you've got to change, just hold it with your fingers, so I'll pop back out. Yeah, just wind on. Watch it on crisscross. Some people will forget, not watch what they're doing, and crisscross keep going, you're the wrong side. Make sure each one stays on the right side. Well, that's four meters. Look how much is going on there. So that's good for a good job. That is enough on there. What you do when you start coming around, you know you're gonna either run out the other side. What you do? You're gonna clip in by there, clip in by there, crisscross across. We've got a join in the middle. Pull it a bit tight. Clip them in there. So you're clipped in, right? On there then. The bit with the flange there. This edge. That goes down. This edge gotta go down. That's gotta stick through the gap. See the gap on the cover. So just push them down through there. I line up both sides with these notches. It's so fast. And just pull down in, pull down in. And that's done. Put it back on the machine now. literally takes minutes but I still change the head. I always carry more heads with me because sometimes you haven't even got a few minutes you just want to finish something off and it's quicker I find just to have pre-loaded heads. 
It's one machine and putting it back on is simple. If you want to wind it, if you want too much sticking out, if you want to spin it, if you want more coming out, just pull it. If you want more, if you want to wind it back in, if you've got too much sticking out, just wind it back in. All the same again, just pull the more coming out. See the two notches in here now? They go line up over there. So it's just push like that. Push like that. You've got to line it up in the centre to get on the cogs and push on. And that's it. Give it a quick pull. You can give it a pump if you want to make sure he's working like that. And then what I do, I trim him. It'll, it'll self cut anyway. I just trim him to size. There we are. That was four meters with that much weight. And I could have got away with that, to be honest. I could have. I could have turned that, I just pulled it out to show you, but I would have got it with pretty much no waste on there then. Uh, the other thing as well, the other thing I recommend is sharpening your blades. See a cutting knife by you. See this knife. I sharpen these all the time. Because if you hear them going tuk, 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 like, like banging, a lot of vibration before they cut. They have a really jagged cut. There's not a nice clean cut like that. You are sharpen these regular. You sharpen these and there's no noise at all. And it, when you bump it, there's no noise, it's just a quick cut and it's better for the machine. You've got a better thick, better edge all the time cutting than a jagged, like a rip, if they're not cutting. So I recommend taking them off with a 27 Torx. Most of the stuff on our skis. And a lot of still stuff 27. But 27 Torx, that is, I do sharpen that. Every season, I sharpen these and all the machines. So anyway, that's what I think of them. I think they're brilliant, really good um, strimmer heads on the Asgrana. The T35s, T45s, and obviously T35X, T45X. Brilliant. I show a few things I carry with me constantly when I go to a job. I always got spare heads, lots of cord, uh, trimmer line. Obviously, there's my 2.4, the orange. Three, they're stills. And these are the, the Japanese, which is good. Use our stuff. Cheap Chinese one. I don't rate them heads at all. But that's just a spare. I always carry spares. I have got another one of these somewhere. That's a good head. That's Oregon. But he's only on a on a 10 mil left hand thread in there. M10. You would go on, yeah? You go straight on there. But that's with a push through. They're clever, Ed. They are. They just push through. Push them through. i got to buy the, some more on my half. So that's how it is. Which way do I go? I don't know. Oh, that's it. So what you do then, you, have, you buy new, a box of these, Oregon. And you can go into each side. And all you do is push in there. And it locks. It just locks like that. You cut them to the length that you want. I'll have to find the name of it. And to undo that, you just click that. Right there, I'm sure you. Good heads. Just click that in there. And there's the nut. And I think you can change that to whatever size machine you've got. At the moment, like I said, I'm on M10 left thread. Bit of a washer there. Goes on like a blade. Realistically, that's your blade mount there. Eh? And that's just a washer for there. So it clicks and you just lock it on. But the Oregon there. Yeah? I think I've used them a few times. Let's see on there what it is. No, anyway. They're alright, they carry down me. That's more like brushy stuff. That's like, uh, oh, four mil, I should imagine, eh? Those carry a blade. They've got a brand new blade somewhere. That's the other one. But that's just an old one I carry. Obviously, with your nut and all your, your fittings to convert it to a blade in case you had a, a brambly job. It. 
Yeah, so use another blade that I use. That's the Asquana one. So, a good little blade there. That's the other head that I'm on about. That's a T35X. That's a T35X bear, ball bearing. Look how much that's worn down on that one. So much is not, is worn away. So small is gone. Look how much they protrude. They do wear down a lot. That's worn down. So anyway, ball bearing, see? But that there is for the big machine. That's gone M12. M12, uh, left hand thread, of, of course, in there. All right. The difference with this one and the other one, you won't get as much in here. I use three millimeter because he's on a 35cc machine. I'd say only get three meters of three millimeter into you. Right? It, it doesn't like, you can't get much in here. It's hard to, to wind it in, not as easy as the 2.4, obviously. So that's why I go for a, a T45 on a bigger machine. You get a lot more. Uh, line in there, right? A bit more momentum, I suppose. Well, a bigger, heavier momentum, harder to slow down like a flywheel. Little one, no, definitely heavier, more uh, momentum. All right. Right, good. I have a T45X on a twelve. Stay on them, what they are. No, it's just a speed. So anyway, we put a new cord on here now, new line. So these buttons on the side, here's how you do it. Just press it, same as the other one. I pull it back a bit. Same the other side, press it. I'm just leaving it off, pry it off like that. You want the, the outer part with the coat, with the line on to come off with it. All right? So it should all just come away like this, all together. You don't want to leave that back on there because it's all just sudden spring. Keep it on there like that. Right, there's the bed in there. That's the difference in the, th in the X's. 35X, the, 20, uh, the 45X. On these it tells you which way to wind. I think on some of the cheapy copies, it doesn't say which way to wind. That's why I showed you to wind opposite to the way that the head is spinning. Alright, so just pull these out. If you want to, you can... Oh, you've got to take it off anyway, so pull it out. It's a good cord. It says I don't know where it come from. I didn't put it on, yeah? It must have been on... This would be a second on head that I had. With this cord on. I think it's the... It was Asquana one. So, undo that off. That's different, but yeah. The way they've done this is different. How have they done this? I've never seen this before. Well, they just pushed that down in there. I've never ever seen that before. In all these years of using them, I've never seen one with holes in. It's strange to me. And what they've done, they just pushed a bit down in there. That was a good good head on this one. Well, that's strange. And just pull back that way. That's if we're doing two individual lengths. I never do that. This is how I do it. I got four meters here, 12 foot, three mil square. This is the Japanese sun. Good make, I can't remember. I think it begin with O or something. Get the two ends, put them together. Pull it all apart, and then what you're left with is halfway. That'll be halfway. You get four meters on here, you will. On one of these big heads, a T45 head. I got a bit of a knot in it now. I have to pull that out. I know where I am. Just pull this out. I got a knot in there. Okay, so I'm halfway. That's halfway. Roughly halfway. That'll be smack on. That's halfway. Okay, so get halfway. So it's wind cord that way, so I know the head spins the opposite. That shows it don't like three mil. Look how, look how tight it is in there. Uh, not three mil. Yeah, three mil. See how tight it just book goes in there. These big heads, you will get four meters, twelve foot on you. You've got to wind it quite neatly. I'm sure you've got uh, this much on you. I can't remember now. We'll soon see now. So, you've got to get it neat because it'll fill up quite fast with this thick line. Try to get, you don't want a big lump because 
that'll affect it. Like for there, I'm getting a bit thick for there. Try to even it out, you're gonna pull it back and forth. We're nearly all on now. You gotta try to make sure it in line with that. You don't wanna be have a big lump of it, because it will not go up in there and it get and it'll just get jammed in. So don't overfill it. But I think it will take this four meters. Uh, yeah, four meters. Anyway, so we're nearly all on now. So the shortest bit, click into there if you can. Take the longest bit round. Click into the next bit. Don't matter if you can't click it in really good. You can hold it with hands. So if it didn't, I'll just hold both sides like that if it didn't click in. This then, the bit with protruding, that sticks out through this, through the cover there. Always remember that when you're putting it back in. Just drop it in like that. Line the two notches up with the sides. I'm stuck against something. Maybe I did have a bit much sticking out. And what you do is come out, so just push that down in there, clicks down in, that's the same there, click down in, that's down in there, I'm a bit tight I am, crisscrossed, if you crisscrossed, just pull some out. Am I crisscrossed? Yeah, I can see the there. There we are, I'm right there now. If you crisscross, just pull it round until you've dropped down, because that's the lower part outside there. You can just see the way it was lined up. Take any slack out. If I got too much sticking out, I don't want to waste that. Just wind back in. Just wind it back in. And you're there. Winding a bit more. Like I said, this, it doesn't like the 3 mil, but it's on there. So that's all it is. Just drop this back on. I either do it that way so it don't fall apart. Them notches there. That's where they go through there. Sometimes you've got to turn the centre to line up on the grooves. If you know what I mean. Just give it a wiggle. It's not on, but they... Oh, yeah, he's on. Make sure he's on. They click in. What I sometimes do as well to make sure is give him a press. Press it and give him a pull. Right there. I can't be quite. There we are. Right. So right. right. So that's right. Just, just give it a press. If you want to feel the first click that you know you're the right way. Like I said, you, I really loaded that up so it does get a bit stiff. But there we are. So I reckon not far away there. Cut it back a bit. So self cut. Just like roughly know the length we've got to be. There we are this side. I said, don't matter, you come out. But there we are. That's worn down a lot, that have. But that's the beauty of the the X one with the bearings in it. But that's how you load up these are square and heads. Alright? I know it was a bit awkward at the end then. It was a lot. Like I said you could put three meters on there, but you will get four meters twelve foot on there of three mil on a 45 head they mostly on the bigger machines 45 cc 35 to 45 cc machines uh, if anyone's interested in information on a modern gun heads that i showed you you push the the pieces through there they are square nylium nylium they're called 50 piece come in a case like this um that's where you cut it to the lens there. Eh? It's 3.75 mil thick. I thought they were like 4 mil, but they're 3.75. There's the there's there's different types of heads it is. But they they all the same. Some of them run four, some of them run two. Uh, no, I think mine will do four. That's right. You push it all the way through. So it, it gives you four then, instead of having one each side. That's right. It's that head there. That's I'm sure that's that's very similar head there. It comes out in four then. There's different things that'll put it through. Ah, oh, there is a, a top one. So you put it through into four. Or you can run the two. Be honest, the four might take too much power. If you've got two sticking out, you better better get a pack of this. Uh for the heavier stuff and see what get along with it. But I when I get a 45cc, more like a brush cutter blade, this will do stuff like that then, but safer. If you're hitting against like an house or something or bloody stones or anything with bloody blade, you know it. 
So that's when I go down this road. All right? Just so I mention that. They're on eBay, they are. The packs. Well, on the internet anyway. But I'm, I'm, there's the part number. But I'm going to get them. All right? Right, guys, that's the way I put my, my strimmer line up on the rolls, I guess. So I can pull them off as I need to. Right? So, these are the types I use. I'm going to get more in the future. But this is what I like. 2.4 is still square. That's what I use there. Anything up to 35cc, 0.95 inch, American style. This is good stuff. It's Japanese stuff, but I can't remember the name of it. It's, it's good, but it's soft. It's very soft. This isn't the one of the main ones I use. It's the 3mm. These are 3mm as well. 3mm square, still. And I find that very nice and hard. Takes some beating the, the, the still. I gotta be honest, I like still uh trimmer line. So my first choice is still these trimmer lines. Um I don't mind the, the Askvana stuff that comes with the with the Askvanas to start with. But after that I buy the, the still stuff. But like I said, this is Japanese, I can't remember the name of it. It's good, but it's soft. That's the only thing with it breaks a lot. Right, if I'm using the 2.4 square, this is how much I, I get off and this goes on to a normal Askvana. Well, most ones. I grab one, me over this way. So that's like one meter, I'd say, like one good arm, arm length. Two. Three. I'll definitely go on there. That's like three meters. I tell you what, we go for four. Sometimes I can do a four. It all depends how big the, the heads are. But that's four, we'll see how much wasted we got now. That's all I do. 